Hello friends over at YouTube, it is my absolute pleasure to tell you about the new killer, new survivor, new map, and a bunch of other changes that are happening in the PTB right now. Uh, normally I have a look at them before I start recording, but I thought we would maybe get our first um, reaction. There's a new survivor called Sable, and you need to scroll up a little bit on the PTB. Wow, look at her. That is going to be a very popular looking survivor. She's very pretty. We thought she was blonde, but she's actually got silver hair. Can we go in the store and check her out here? Wow. Uh, in PTB, there's typically no extra customizations, but she's pretty. What do you guys think? Really, really pretty. Wow. <laughs> I'll do this so that we see her from up close. Yeah, she's a friend of Michaela. Oh, man. Well, we'll see that, but there's also a new killer. <gasps> you can see him here. Oh my god, that is not what I expected. What the hell is this? This is the unknown. Oh gosh, yeah. A long lore ahead of us. <laughs> oh my gosh. Shall we take a minute to learn this killer's power, which is, um, which is detailed here, and then I'll show you what it looks like in action. Let's do that. Let's also go to the new map and check it out there, shall we? All right, so we took a minute to familiarize ourselves with the power. Um, here's a, hold up, can I, yeah, here's a, a, a screenshot if you want to, like, pause it. But essentially, this killer sends out, like, a little grenade that bounces off of the wall. It's, yeah, it's it's like a grenade that you throw. That grenade explodes, and it's a bit like Otis, where you need two hits to damage someone. So, essentially, you chase someone, you hit them with the explosion of the grenade, quote-unquote, and then you do it again, they take damage. You can hit multiple survivors, um, and if they get hit by the grenade before it lands and it explodes, they get slowed down. You also leave hallucinations behind, which is basically like a... Like a dredge remnant that you can teleport to on command. And it's very quick. It's really interesting. Let's ready up. See the new map. See the Mori. See all the perks in action, I guess. Let's go. Whee. All right, guys. So, as usual, you'll have the timestamps in the description of the YouTube video with all the relevant stuff. Uh, as soon as we publish it, we'll need a few... We'll, we'll need a while, but eventually we'll have all the info there. So you can check everything out. There will be the add-ons. We'll analyze the perks. Absolutely everything. So, don't worry about that. Uh, but yeah, we've already seen a glimpse of the new map, and it is beautiful. The starting animation is also really crazy. Look at this. That's pretty wild, right? Uh, otherwise, the killer moves like normal. I think it's normal to radius, normal movement speed, normal everything. But yeah, feels pretty good. So, now, let's, chase, let's show you the power. The power... It creates this little gun, and it really does work like a grenade launcher. Check it out. You see? It bounces like once or so. And if you hit a survivor with it, they take like half a damage. Oh, let's try. Uh, <laughs> I am learning, I guess. <laughs> you don't need to do anything fancy though. You can just aim it at the ground and that should work, right? No, actually, that hit behind her. Damn. Well, we're learning, chat. We're learning. All right. There you go. So you see now in the HUD and visually that the survivor is affected. And every now and then I will spawn these things. You get a, a an indication on your screen. You know? Whoop. And this is something that you can teleport to, presumably from across the map. Wow. Now, the way survivors get rid of this debuff thingy is by looking at me, so I'm gonna look away so they don't see me. <laughs> but yeah. That should damage them. There you go. So essentially, you wanna have a mixture of normal chasing, uh, normal chasing as a normal M1 killer, but also uh, hit them with this every now and then. There, she gets an injury. By the way, after injuring a survivor, you see my bottom perk, it's active. I get a speed boost now. If I do this, if I vault a window, I get a... You, you saw the haste on the top? I move a little bit faster for 10 seconds. That is one of the new perks. 
The other perk is a little bit more... The perk on the left is a bit less interesting. But basically, when you kick a generator, it activates, and I am undetectable. Ah! Oh, they're removing my... They're removing my vision. They failed, so... You, they get half damage, and... Oh, damn, this is difficult, man. Yeah, this should... Oh, wait. This should damage. Come on. I'm so bad! It's so easy to shoot past them. <laughs> Alright. There you go. You can hit multiple people. Oh, there you go. I left a, a clone. That happens. That happens over time. Yeah, look at that. You can injure multiple people. Ew. Scary. Alright. So yeah, when you kick a generator, your turret radius becomes uh, centered on the generator uh, at 32 meters, and then you lose it. And then the other perk is uh, interesting. They need to miss a skill check. Could you guys heal each other and miss a skill check, please? Yeah. Every time they miss a skill check during heals... <laughs> Every time they miss a skill check during heals or gens, you get tokens. I'll show you. You see the number three? Uh, I got more, right? Now, if you kick a gen... You do extra damage and you block it. And the more tokens, the longer you block it and the more damage it does. So basically that perk will be very good for skill check builds. Alright. Don't mind me. You guys want to see the Mori? You could also check some of the animations like pulling out a locker and stuff. Let's do it. I'll also show you around the map a little bit. Keep in mind, this is all the PTBE, some things might not be finalized and so on. We'll also see the survivor perks in just a minute. How far can you shoot this from? Oh my god. Yeah, that hit them, but it didn't land on them. Yeah, this is the theater. It looks really pretty on the inside. Alright, let me practice a bit. <laughs> Alright, are you moriable yet? No. I could more the new survivor if you guys prefer. Yep. That's the hit animation for carrying. Oh, I love that. Um, you guys want to see the pallet break? Should we do it? I'd rather more the. Yeah, let's do the pallet break. Are you serious? He uses his legs instead of the fire axe? <laughs> Yeah. Locker grab? Yeah, someone go into that locker. We can test it. It's gonna look creepy as hell, I bet. Alright. Come here. Alright, so Mikael is moriable. We'll get her in a minute. Can you hit stage 2 and then I'll be able to mori you? Oh, she's got nice shoes. Okay, one more time. Beautiful. Yeah, let's go. I'll show you on the inside as well. We could go somewhere lit. Alright, you guys stay away from this for a minute. I'll remove my camera so you guys can see everything well. Alright, let's go somewhere lit. Oh, that's pretty. This will be the first time we see it, so. Uh, let's do... Oops. Oh, terrifying, dude. Oh my gosh. Michaela! Come, come. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's see the... Let's see the map. Oh, basement's here. Are you gonna get me a drink? A donut? Oh, that's nice. Uh, I, I noticed earlier while we were... Uh, just making sure that everything worked. This is really funny. Uh, can you guys stop this pallet? Look what happens. <laughs> That's really funny. That's a really nice detail. Oh, wow. That's the second floor. Wow. 
Well, oh, there's a nice hole in here. Uh, this is gonna, this is gonna be broken by the camera, guys, and everything. Let's go somewhere a bit nicer, maybe. What if, I, what if I teleport to this thing? Oh, it's not ready. Does it disappear? No, it doesn't. Okay, let's give it a go. Yeah, camera breaks a bit. That is horrible. Wow, it turns them into dust and eats them. What? Wow, that's so unsettling. Oh my gosh. Can they mirage his body block? I'm gonna guess no, Chad. I don't think so. But oh, you want a drink? <laughs> okay, I get served. Thank you. Sorry, they don't accept card. What do you mean you don't accept card? What do you mean you don't accept card? I want to speak to the manager. <laughs> okay. Wait, that's a vault? I definitely want to speak to the manager then. <laughs> well, let's have a quick look at the back. Oh, this is the actual cinema. Wow, that's the room we saw from above. There's an exit. This map looks really cool, man. This might be one of the best looking ones they've done ever. We see this room. Oh, these are the bathrooms. Nice. Oh, there's a lot of holes. The parking lot on the side. We saw a bit. Wow. Doesn't seem to be a sh oh, No, there was a shark right over there. Wow. Moonstone Cafe. That's where Michaela used to work, right? From the lore. Well, that's cool. Yeah, this looks so nice. Do you guys want to have a quick overview of the add-ons and the perks of all the characters? And I'll give you my quick thoughts. Let's do that. This character, I think, will take quite a long time to, like, understand how good he is and use his, his, um, his power in Chase effectively. But that's what we'll spend a lot of hours doing. Uh, let's, let's see his add-ons now that we understand his power a bit better. Right, so a quick look at the perks first. Uh, Invocation Weaving Spiders. This is a new type of perk that allows you to go into the basement and spend two minutes, it can be faster with more survivors, to complete a ritual. Once the ritual is completed, all the gens left in the map gain 15 charges. 15 charges is, I mean, it's 15 out of 90. So, yeah, it's like one-sixth of the gen, I suppose, right? So, yeah. It's interesting. Survivors can now complete a gen without actually being there. Could you stealth and do this at the start? Will this be meta? Uh, it will depend on whether or not it can be interrupted. I am looking forward to it. More analysis soon. Strength in shadows. Self-care, but basically much, much better. The condition, though, is that you need to use it in basement. It has a really pretty uh, icon. Instead of 35, which I think is the normal self-care, this is 60% normal healing speed. Um, but you need to use it in basement, and you see the killer when uh, you finish the heal, which is honestly pretty nice. This could be a really good perk with off the record. You go in there, the killer cannot see your aura or anything, ideally, and then you start self-caring. You could do it in the end game. This seems like a really good perk. I do think, however, that because these perks work in basement, on the first day release, killers are going to be very naughty. They're going to run the uh, territorial imperative perk from hunters to find you. But after that, after they stop doing that, this will be a good perk, I think. We then have Wicked. Uh, this perk has been warned to us by the developers that it's not currently this way. This perk on live will be different. So this is an outdated perk, and no surprise, it's a terrible perk. This perk gets stronger if you spend time in basement, and then it makes you recover faster from Mangled. Also, if you use a Hex, you heal percent, you heal 10% faster. Uh, there's a problem, though. If the killer doesn't have Mangled, this perk does nothing. If the killer doesn't have a Hex, this perk does nothing. And even if they do have those things, why don't you just run Botany Knowledge? Botany Knowledge, you can heal yourself much faster. Uh, a medkit, you can heal yourself much faster. Uh, leader, you can make other people heal yourself much faster. It would be 5 billion times better than running this perk. Like, it's 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 so bad. It's so, so bad. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Uh, the killer perks, though, are... Um, hmm, interesting. We're gonna see them. First, Unbound. It is a haste perk. You injure a survivor and for the next three, uh, 30 seconds, and whenever you vault a window, you are faster for 10 seconds afterwards. I don't like this. Uh, haste perks, in my opinion, are hard to balance. They are either too strong or too useless, and I think this is going to be on the useless side. If you think about it, this is a lot of conditions. You need to injure a survivor, which doesn't always happen when you want to. 
Then Datsuara needs to use a window within those 30 seconds. Then that window has to be one of the windows that you want to vault, right? Like some windows in the game, you don't vault them. Like for example, in TL Walls, the Tsubaru, if you vault it, they go to the other window. So you need to play around the window. So it's a, it's a condition on top of a condition on top of a condition. Not to mention that a lot of killers don't really care about being 5% faster because they have powers to go way, way faster. So yeah, could you mix this with Bamboozle, Superior Anatomy, Fire Up, and all the other stuff? Yes. Will it be any good in my opinion? No. What if you go on the game where there's one window in the whole map? I think this perk is going to be very, very, very situational. And the sad part is you can't really buff it, or it might be actually strong and unfun to play against. So I'm not a huge fan of it. I'm sorry. We then have Unforeseen. This is possibly the simplest and most popular perk that you'll see out of this DLC uh, for the killer side. Whenever you kick a gen, no other conditions. The gen gains a terror radius. You lose your terror radius, and that happens for 30 seconds. And then it goes on a cooldown, right? This is simple. It's very straightforward. You kick a gen, you apply pop or whatever. There's no other conditions. You lose your terror radius. And hell, maybe solo players get confused because they think that you're still camping the hook or something, right? So yeah, simple perk uh, to mess with survivors a little bit will lead to some funny clips, I suppose. Nothing too crazy. Yeah, it's like a simpler Dark Devotion or a simpler Trail Torment. And unlike Trail Torment, it doesn't tell the survivor that you have it by making the generator yellow. And it doesn't work only on one generator or on the obsession, right? So this perk is okay. Not super exciting, but okay. This perk is, I think, possibly problematic, and we'll we'll see down the line if it's this if it's if it is the case or not. Undawn gives you tokens every time survivors miss a skill check. Basically, the misses kill check, you get three, misses kill check, you get six, uh, nine, twelve, fifteen, up until thirty. If you kick a generator, the generator takes uh, 1% damage for each token and gets blocked by one second for each token. So in a normal match against normal decent survivors, they never miss kill checks. Or if they do, it's really, really rare. This perk would be useless. However, for beginners or in specific builds, say that you play Doctor, you send yourself to a small map like the game, then you have uh, Merciless Storm, uh, Unnerving Presence, add-ons to make your territories huge, and then uh, like you're going to miss kill checks. You're going to miss kill checks. That's going to be awful. And this perk seems like it might be really, really cruel. Now, when you kick a gen, if you have, if they miss two skill checks, your next kick on a gen will not do just five percent damage. It will do il what? Sorry, uh, eleven percent damage, right? It will do eleven percent damage. That's pretty crazy, man. That's without hooking, without anything, right? <sighs> and block the gen. <sighs> I don't know, guys. I, I I feel like this perk is, I, I, I it, like it doesn't scream OP to me, but it screams. There's going to be one build in one situation where this perk is going to be really difficult to balance across skill levels, right? So I'm a little bit worried, but I mean, not the end of the world. Now, let's have a look at the add-ons. We know a little bit more what the power does, so we can understand them. We haven't really read them, uh, read them yet, so... We have the sketch attempt. The victim's child was given paper and crayons at the station. Survivors hit by U uh, UVX blast area, that's where it explodes, suffer from the oblivious status effect. All right. This is a brown. Blood pools appear bright red when charging UVX. Survivors injured by UVX suffer from the hemorrhage as for 30 seconds. Not a huge fan, but I mean, for a brown, that's nice. Survivors who are both weakened and injured suffer from the deep wound status effect when they dispel a hallucination. I don't know if dispelling hallucinations is that big of a deal. You saw what survivors can do. If they see your, your copy, they can just get rid of it, I suppose. But yeah. Um, hold up. Uh, after teleporting, regain full movement speed 50% faster. That is nice. We noticed that there was a bit of a slowdown there, right? Victims map. When a survivor successfully stares down the unknown, the unknown gets killer instinct for 3 seconds. That seems okay. Uh, survivors have to look at you to remove their... You know how with artists, you have to, like, remove the birds? They have to look at you to remove the infection, quote-unquote. So that will let you know when it's happening. Seems okay. Uh, UVX triggers that blast area upon contact with hallucinations. Oh! Delicious can be destroyed by UVX. Do so the increases the time until the response. responds. Ooh, this, this kind of changes the way you play. I'm not sure this will be super good. You can't really spawn hallucinations on command, but you get a warning when they're going to happen. Um, so that was the slash backpack. Notebook of theories. Survivors hit by the UVX while it is airborne. Suffer from the hidden status for five seconds. Well, this is a bit strange because they already get hindered, according to the power. So I guess this extends it, right? Yeah. 
Last known recording. The crisis your hallucinations auto range that is visible to survivors by 25%. Okay, probably not super good. Uh, device of undisclosed origin. Somewhere else entirely. Survivors entering the auto range of hallucinations suffer from the oblivious status effect. Interesting. So you wouldn't want to pair these two together. Survivors who complete generators become weakened against UVX. Oh! So it's like a passive half damage state. So if someone is finishing a gen in front of you and you have this add-on, you could shoot them and they'd go, they go, they, they would take a damage state immediately. Hypnotist, watch. Survivors hit by UVX while it's airborne, suffer from exhausted. I mean, that actually is pretty good, I think. 10 seconds is quite a lot. And you could... Hmm. Yeah, if you know someone has balance and they're taking you to a... Yeah, I, th I think this might be actually one of the better exhaustion add-ons that we've seen in a while. Front page article. Performing the break interaction on a pallet or breakable decreases the time until the next hallucination. That's nice. Decreases the time until the next hallucination by 15 seconds or so it becomes weakened. Oh, okay, so a bit of context. When they become weakened... Um, what's that out? What's that 10 seconds? That doesn't mean that this increases it by 5? Because we know that... Whenever survivors are touched by a blast area or otherwise become weakened, it decreases by 10. So basically this makes it go from 10 to 15, right? Okay. B movie poster. Survivors damaged by UVX blast area suffer from the broken status of extra 30 seconds. Alright. Serum vial. Survivors within hallucination auto range suffer from exhausted status effect for 10 seconds. I mean, sure. Obscure game cartridge. Triggers for 20 seconds following a teleport. Increases the action speed for breaking, pallets, damage generators, and windows by 30. That's nice. Wow. That's good. Uh, homemade mask. Survivors who dispel hallucination suffer from the blindness for 45 seconds. Ugh, not a huge fan. Discard the mail carton. Doubles the UVX projectile's bounce strength. So that means it bounces twice. It's like a, it's like the, um, it's like the bouncy blade add-on for, for the trickster, huh? Interesting. Iridescent OSS report. The crystal the teleport cooldown by five seconds. The decoy left behind after the teleport takes ten seconds longer to disappear. When created, the decoy has the same terror radius as resting as the unknown. Oh, all right. Seems to be gimmicky, but no, it bounces further. Oh, I see. Thank you, thank you for clearing that up. Captured by the Dark. The documentary purported by the that, that the disappearances were linked to small town cinemas. Audiences led the theater feeling uneasy. Survivors begin the trial weakened. Decrease the maximum number of hallucinations that can spawn by one. Alright, so it's similar to the add-on for the singularity where everyone starts slipstream. Alright, the add-ons seem okay to me. There's like a few that don't seem super good, but I like the fact that there's no insta-down add-on, that there's no super boring add-on that just makes your power flatly better at least it's not too obvious there's a couple that seem like they could be really good but yeah i i overall like that i think this kill is gonna have a lot of depth and there's gonna be a lot of tricks that we're gonna have to learn i'm not impressed by the perks um the add-ons i think are okay the map looks really nice we'll see um so yeah overall what do you guys think <laughs> Show the Lord, please. Sure, we can have a little read and you guys can can come uh, if you're watching this on YouTube on the stream and check out what we've learned since. But we're probably going to call the video a day here. All right. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. See you and enjoy the new killer. You'll have gameplay of it and against it soon as well. Look forward to that.